Right, this is frozen pizza. It's the sort of stuff we would have grown up with. But today, I'm exploring the world of Italian-American style pizza across the east side of LA. And I'm pretty sure we can do better than this. My mission on this LA pizza crawl is to showcase just how much great pizza is on offer within this city. LA is where it's at. There is three really great places which I think showcase LA's best pizza. And the first of which is called Casa Buena in Echo Park, around 15 minutes from where I live. And the amo. Okay, first place. Cosa Buena. That doesn't say it at all, but it says it right here. <laughs> Cosa Buena. This is an American Italian style place. What I imagine American Italian stuff to be, uh, like smoky mozzarella sticks, eggplant parmesan, and, and controversially, a Hawaiian pizza too. Uh, I feel in the interest of trying and making sure that we get a full experience here, uh, I should get the Hawaiian, even though I'm a dead set against uh, a pineapple on pizza, but that's fine, I will set it aside, because this one actually looks quite good. It's got pineapple, Canadian bacon, uh, onion, chilies, and smoked mozzarella, so you can't go too far on. <laughs> Hey, okay, so we're going pizza. We want to say the pepperoni. Let's go pepperoni. It's a classic. Awesome. All right? Thank you very much. Water's good. It used to be an old school pizza restaurant. A new chef has come in here and completely injected new life into this like corner of Echo Park. When it opens in the evening, like there's a queue around the door. So let's try some pizza. Nice. Pepperoni. Wow. Hawaiian pizza. They look good. What I'm most excited about this pizza is that crust. Look how beautiful and doughy that looks. Um, pineapple pizza, I'm not seeing like scary chunks of pineapple. Like the sort of pineapple pizza I would have grown up with would have been the sort of chunks that came out of a can. I'm, I'm not seeing any major chunks, so I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm gonna stop talking now and get into some eating, because this is what we're here for. Mm. Okay, so this is the pepperoni one. Oh man. That is so, so good. It is all about that crust. I mean, I've been here, I've tried this crust, and that's why I've come back. The marinara sauce is really good. It's subtle enough that you taste the, the, the tomatoes without overpowering with anything here. I haven't added any chili oil or any chilies here, and you actually don't need them. It's full of flavor, and there's a good bit of spice from those pepperoni as well. It's pillowy, it's doughy, it's like, got that lovely bit of chew. It's like the perfect kind of end, and it's like the perfect kind of palate cleanser after all the all the flavor from the pepperoni and the marinara sauce, and that smoked mozzarella as well. This is an awesome slice of pizza. This is the one I'm slightly nervous about. Uh, this is the Hawaiian pizza. I am not a Hawaiian pizza fan, but I feel like if you're gonna put it on your menu, it's gotta be good in a place like this. So I'm gonna grab up the piece that actually has a visible piece of pineapple. It's definitely like a heavier slice of pizza, but there's bacon is really nice and crispy. You've got the red onion in there. And I'm not seeing like too much marinara sauce on this one, but uh, it looks pretty good. What works here is that the pineapple has kind of gone a little bit caramelized, but it's the combination of that little bit of spice in there, that hit of spice in contrast with the sweetness of the pineapple and then you've got the saltiness of the bacon and then that hit of red onion it's really really good this is a really great example of what a modern american italian pizza is it's all about the dough it's all about the ingredients it's all about that combination of flavors and they have nailed it here hey nice to meet you donald do you mind like giving us just a quick light of it. Awesome. Firstly, what's your name and, and where do you come from? I'm Zach Jarrett. I grew up in Brooklyn. Okay. I started cooking in LA about 11 years ago. Okay. This restaurant came uh, from Zach Pollock, who's another restaurant called Elemento. The idea was to do Neapolitan pizza dough, which he studied, which is traditional, but with kind of these throwback American toppings. That crust is what it's all about. Like, yeah. and that feels like somewhere between, like, because the base feels somewhere between, like, a classic Italian pizza and then this, like, kind of crazy yeah. crust, which is fantastic. Yeah, it holds up to the toppings yeah. really well. It's on awesome. Top a little bit more. It's, I've, I had the Hawaiian and I had the pepperoni. And oh, man, great choices. choices. Yeah. It's tasty, too. I mean, we make the ham here. We pickle the jalapenos, so we have this great balance of smoky, sweet, spicy. That's exactly, that's exactly what I was saying. Where else are you going? Uh, we're going to Triple Beam and we're going to go to Casabianca. Oh, great. So you get a lot of different styles today. The guys from Triple Beam are buddies. Three different styles and three that are all important to this neighborhood. Great. Speak of my language, this is great. Okay, cool. I'm off to eat more pizza. Lovely Fantastic. to meet you. Thank Thanks, you so man. much. Cheers. Great, really good.
we got the inside track on what pizza's all about. This is great. And this is exactly why I wanted to hit up these exact three pizza places. They showcase exactly what LA's pizza scene is all about. Let's go. Goodbye. <laughs> Next stop is Triple Bean Pizza. The guys are big fans. Uh, it's only recently opened. It literally opened about four months or five months ago. They serve pizza by the slice. So you go in and it's kind of like counter service and you choose what you want. They slice it up and you end up with a tray of beautiful pizza. We are here. Let's go eat pizza. This is what I'm talking about. Triple Bean Pizza. This place is super popular right now and there's a window right outside so I'm hoping we can actually get in and get to see some pizza being made. Let's go. So Triple Bean is like the raddest pizza. I was not a fan of pizza, sorry, until I started working here and now I'm obsessed with it. Super thin, super delicious. It's like a great cracker and then they just put all this awesome stuff on top. What could be wrong with that? I know, it's amazing. <laughs> This is what's cool about this uh, this place is that like you can basically choose how much of a pizza, slice of pizza you want, and they have a whole host of different toppings: heirloom tomato, summer squash, uh, roasted eggplant, mushroom, which is sold out, margarita, sausage, pepperoni. Thank you. Pizza. Thank you very much. We're going to eat. I don't think this happens in LA very often. You don't see this pizza by the slice thing going on. This is kind of like Roman style pizza. There's a whole host of different um, ingredients on top. We've got heirloom tomato. You've got beautiful uh, zucchini or courgette on top here. I love the fact that you can come in here and you can have a little bit of everything. And that's what I've done every time I've come to Triple Beam. It's literally, I order every bit of pizza there is on offer. That thin crust, you've got the thick crust. It's a really great place to, uh, to try your favorite pizza topping. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna dive in here. A good place to start is, uh, since it's seasonal, um, is some heirloom tomatoes. Oh. That is pizza like no other. I mean, it's a, such a different style to what we've tried in Casa Buena. It's crispy on the outside. There's a bit of chew in the in the center, but it's all about that kind of crackle and crunch as you bite into it. But as soon as you kind of delve in a bit deeper, there is this like nice bit of chew in there. You can see that like there's beautiful olive oil going on in here. It's just really kind of moist. We've got like a, a salami one. We've got eggplant or aubergine. We've got a pepperoni pizza. And the one that I'm pretty excited about is this sausage meat one. Now, you think of Italian pizza and it's that kind of like soft, uh, thin crust. It's like kind of dripping under the weight in that like Naples style of the, of the toppings. This is different. It's crunchy on the outside. It's got that chew of the dough and it's all about those flavors. It's, it's basically the dough is the perfect vehicle for all these different things going on here. But to have it in LA, to have it on my doorstep, that's what I get really excited about. Now, I do have to finish this off, but they did tell me that I'm gonna get an opportunity to go in and see how they make these big slices of pizza. So uh, I've got some eating to do, and then let's go in. The backstage entrance. <laughs> So do you take you uh, you cook them off first and then you add the topping? Yeah, like three, that's right. So that's what we do, and then we send them to the topper, and then they do all the okay. toppings and all. The so they stuff. they do that all over here, and then okay. we put it back again a little bit, you know, to get all the all the right. cheese melt and all that. Okay, awesome. And then we go to the front. So they're baked twice. They're baked twice. twice. Okay, so basically over here you've got the dough station. They roll out the dough, and you get to like puck market. It goes into the oven, it bakes off, and it gets all bubbly and golden and gorgeous. And then these ones are, are basically ready to be topped. And there's a whole like topping station over here. So you've got like the mozzarella, you've got a, you've got a whole host of different ingredients ready to be topped. There's uh, the fennel and a little bit of red onion for the sausage one. You've got marinara. Uh, this is this is really awesome. Okay, guys, this is Eli. He is the manager of Triple Beam, and you're going to tell me a little bit about how Triple Beam came about, right? Yeah, Matt Molina yeah. and Nancy Silverton. They just always had this dream of opening up a Roman-style pizzeria, like when they would go to Italy. And okay. I think we're kind of at the start of more people being even aware. Of what it is. Yeah, yeah, um, sure. You know, a couple people have come in recently they're like, I know this style, yeah. which is so cool. It is this really cool uh, uh, yes. We need to talk about it. This is Cesare, and so he worked at Roscioli, which was the place in Italy, in Rome, that like really made them feel like okay. this is what we want to do. His name is Frank. We called him Frankie or Little Italy. They were working the whole time, like hard. Yeah. And I kept being like, I want to take you around LA because I just think we've got the best food scene right. anywhere. Yeah. We saw the in and out sign, the, the glow, okay. the palm trees. And I was like, Guys, 
this? We gotta go. <laughs> Chez, not his greatest moment, he said, please don't take a picture of me, but I was like, for posterity, we need it. Some people ask, like, are these like the founders who died? Like it right. seems almost like a memorial, like have some little candles here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, those are the folks who got it started and gave us the spirit. Well, yeah. look, it's, it's so cool to see and, and Thank you. more success to you. It's Thank great. you so much. Great. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, come check us out. Yeah, go check them out. Okay, we've done Casa Buena, beautiful doughy pizza. We've done triple bean pizza, that crispy, crunchy, chewy thing going on. And the next stop is old style American Italian pizza at its core. What you'd expect from one of those old mom and pop style restaurants. I'm already feeling a little bit full, but let's go. This is Casa Bianca, and this is one of my favorite little neighborhood Italian restaurants. When we first moved to Los Angeles, this was one of the first places we came to. It was so cute and so cool. There's like neon signs outside. Um, it's got this whole like 1950s diner still thing going on. It's, it's really, really cool. And the menu like spans, it's not just pizza, it spans across all those American Italian classics like breaded mushrooms and mozzarella sticks and zucchini sticks and garlic bread and all the things you kind of like most Italians may cringe over, but they do it and they do it with passion and they don't care about what the Italians think because they are Italian and this is Italian food to them. It's only like five o'clock in the evening right now and the place is already jam-packed. It's probably more people in this restaurant than any of the other pizza restaurants we've been in and there is like a passionate neighborhood following here so it's got to be good. Good, how are you? Let's do a small of the eggplant and a small of the sausage pizza. Okay, we have got uh, the sausage pizza on this side and we have got the eggplant or aubergine pizza over here. And I like the fact that they come in their own little pizza trays. You get your nice little slice coming out here so you can serve it up. I'm gonna start off with the sausage pizza. Now, look, I'm gonna fess up. I have had this pizza a lot of times, so I can I can probably already vouch for the fact that this is good, but I wanna talk you through why this is good. Mm. It's like heavy on the cheese. It's full of that beautiful tomato sauce. But this one in particular has this sausage meat which is spiked with fennel and it is so flavorful. It's sweet, but it also has this kind of aniseed thing running through. This is all about thin, crispy crust and there's not much kind of aeration going on here. But what is interesting is the bite of the slice because you have the crunch and you have the crispiness, but you also have like, I think they use like semolina or polenta on the base of it. So you get it all over your fingers and when you bite into it, you get these kind of little, little pops of crunch. Mm. There is such a good pizza. Okay, I've tried the one I know, but this is the one that has got a lot of write-ups. They've interestingly enough, like put the pattern, like, uh, they've laid the eggplant or the aubergine slices on top, and then they've heaped it with loads and loads of cheese. So uh, the beautiful thing about this is that we get a, uh, a rather fantastic cheese pull, just like that. I'm gonna take up a lovely slice of this. Second bite, I'm sorry. That's just a really fantastic pizza. You've got the tomato sauce, you've got the cheese, you've got the eggplant that's just gone really soft. What I love about the pizza here is that they use like dried oregano just sprinkled over the top. So you get this kind of like weird, like dried herb taste going on here. It's like aromatics that aren't like fresh, but they're that kind of like musky sort of dried flavor. Really, really fantastic pizza. My vote is probably the sausage pizza, but this is a close second. It's a fantastic demonstration of, you know, how you can play with pizza and how you can take it from like the classic Italian stuff to doing something a little bit different. Come to Casa Bianca, come to Eagle Rock. This is where it's at and this is ultimate comfort food. Just to give you a background, Ned is Mr. Pizza in Eagle Rock. <laughs> People, Me and my sister. You and your sister. We, so we run it. Tell me a little bit about Casa Bianca because it is like a, it is a neighborhood classic. My parents started it in 1955 mm -hmm. and uh, they passed on, but uh, we're maintaining the tradition. We're keeping all the recipes they came up with over the years and, and given to my parents by his mother, okay. which was a, who was a fantastic cook. And is it true, I've heard rumor that President Obama used to eat here as a college student. That's what they say. Right? <laughs> you don't remember him. Well, this is 1980, he was a kid then. Right, right. It's a good, I, I would roll with it, it's fantastic. And uh, tell me, because obviously when you walk in here, you are, you've got so many celebrities up on the walls. Terry Hatcher, and who, who's the most famous person you've had in the, in the restaurant? 
Clint Eastwood filmed a movie here. No so, way. So I got to meet him. Wow. A legend. Excellent. Wow. We moved here two or three years ago, and we, we live in the neighborhood, and it was the first place we came to eat. So it was a great start into LA. So it's a pleasure to sit down and meet you in okay. person. All right. Thank you so much for, for talking to us. And uh, we've eaten all the pizza, so I'm a happy man. This is great. There and I got go. the real, I got the godfather of pizza. No, I don't Fantastic. know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ned. Thank you very much. So I've just had a quick chat with Ned, and we're kind of in the back alley of, uh, of what Casa Bianca is all about. And so we're in the, in the kitchen. Here. You can see they're, they're busy making the pizza behind me. Uh, busy, busy kitchen, but uh, it's, it's basically one of the most popular restaurants in Eagle Rock, so uh, thrilled to get a bit of a behind the scenes look. Thanks, Ned. So you're a oh, I'm a pizza to go. Thank you. Okay, okay. see you guys. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, it is safe to say. Our pizza mission is complete. Three very different American-Italian pizza joints and three that I think kind of represent what American-Italian pizza is. It's not just one thing. It's like, it's people's perceptions on how they've experienced pizza growing up and how they've translated that into something new and something fresh. The things I've tried, I feel showcase that it is worthwhile trying. Go seek out the best American-Italian pizza in your neighborhood and I'm sure you will not be disappointed. Job done, mission complete, what's next? If you've enjoyed this video, if you like pizza, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We have a whole load of pizza related playlists that you can click on and watch more pizza. And of course, tell me what you'd like to see me eating next. I'm thinking taco trucks. I feel like this is the perfect place where we can uh, explore a little bit more of the taco scene. If you'd like to see that, leave a comment in the box below or anywhere. Let me know what you'd like to see me eat next. Until then, my friends, hit the subscribe button, like, share this video, especially with those who love pizza and who doesn't love pizza. Until then, goodbye. Pizza. We're gonna eat some real pizza. No, I didn't know what to say. <laughs> I didn't know what to say.